Hello everyone, I am back. It is, I know it has been a while and I know things look different in the room behind me and I'm going to give you a quick update on that. That is because um, I actually recently moved and I now live with my sister who's awesome. And I moved because of me splitting from uh, the person I was currently with. And so I figure, on that note, why not go and read some missed connections? So <clears throat> I am here. If you see any videos with the old room behind them, no, I'm not back there. It's because I typically bank up videos, and you might see some older ones that I post as well, because sometimes I like to take older ones uh, out of the vault. So we're going to read some missed connections today, because those are always pretty funny. Okay, this one looks like a good one. Uh, two guys in Speedos at Barton Springs. Looks like a good one. Woman with freckles at AAA Books. Wife's best friend. Beautiful girl at H-E-B. Hmm. E-do. E-do. Let's check out what E-do is doing. Do the do. Or that person tried to do the do. Hippie Hollow. That should be a good one. Uh, Hippie Hollow is a uh, nudist beach where I'm at. Gold's on Ben White, maybe. Searching for Jenny. Sexual harassment in Silicon Valley made you fresh in my mind. Ugh. Alright, let's go for this. Hopefully there's nothing I have to censor because I really don't want to... I really don't want to have to stare at people's bits and bobs when I'm supposed to be doing a funny segment. Poke, 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 someone in the comment below, someone in the comments below, phonetically spelled that out for me. Wondering when, what, wondering what you decided to do after work. Are you going out or are you staying in? I think you're really sexy. I would like to 4:20 in jail. I can. I came in around 4:30 today after work. Well, see, man, you missed the mark. 4:30 is not 4:20. 4:20, praise it. Biking on Brentwood. I was driving home. You were on your bike, heading in the opposite direction. We caught each other's eye. Noticed that you turned around at the end of the block. You smiled, nodded as you rode back. As you rode back by, hit me up if you're interested. Tell me what I was wearing. So it was you. So I find this sad. I only find this sad because they were probably just being polite. Because I will nod to a lot of people if I'm biking or walking or whatever. If I'm actually doing physical activity. Two guys in Speedos this morning at Barton Springs. You both walked down the stairs at the same time together, both wearing small tight Speedos. You made my morning. I've seen one in, one of you there before, but not both. Do you go to the locker room afterwards just asking? Ugh. Ugh. Have some class. Oh my god. Ugh. Woman with freckles at AAA Books. That guy's... Ugh. This is not a luau, but that guy's trying to get spit roasted. You're beautiful. I've seen you a couple times and I'm coming to buy tattoo magazines. You know, this is probably like the least disgusting misconnections I've ever seen. Just like somebody being like, hey, you look nice. Wife's best friend. I have always wanted you and you always lead me on to think you want the same. I love to see you, but the last couple of times it seems like there was much more going on to be able to pay you any attention like I normally do. I've grabbed your ass on several times. We played around dancing a couple of times. I should have made a move on you on my wife's birthday party when I had you alone. Ooh. Oh no. 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 I hope both of those people's wives find out about that. Or they can just reenact the show Wife Swap from Fox. But the not so PG version. Beautiful girl at HEB. Your beautiful girl looked at me at the checkout counter. Successful executive tall, green eyes, dark hair, and a black t-shirt and khaki shorts. If you were available, I'd love to hear from you. Finally, some, some uh, you know, misconnections of all places not being gross. Uh, e do. You missed out on a great kid. You missed out on birthday parties, graduation, first dates. Our kid turning into an amazing adult. He's destined to become with or without you. I won't teach him to hate you, but I'll let him make his own assumptions about you. So this is just sad. Out of respect for this person, I'm gonna I'm gonna skip over this. This is that's sad. He walked by in the afternoon, asked about my piercing. 
you thought you were being too forward, but I thought it was kind of cute. I noticed you were with somebody, so I didn't want to be pushy. I was wondering if you'd like to go to Hippie Hollow sometime. Let me know what you were wearing. Ugh. That's... I mean, I guess that's not that gross. You know, both nudists, nudist beach, calming on each other's bodies, whatever. We were both in the shower at the same time. I was getting out, you were getting in, you were telling a muscular guy with a nice beard, let's meet up sometime. Ew. Half the, okay, half the fun of getting with somebody, they have clothes on and they look good in a nice outfit, is getting to take it off them and it's the surprise and then that just, that just ruins it. You used to stop by to see me, but someone I, but someone else, it seemed like we were getting along. I'd like to try to talk to you or get a drink sometime. Uh, they probably don't want to talk to you when you can't separate punctuation, you know? Like, there are five-year-olds that can do that. Thankfully, they're not on missed connections, but there are five-year-olds that can separate sentences. Like, bro, your phone will should do it for you if you're using autocorrect. Just, man. In the summer of 2015, I met someone named Jenny at work. Our first interaction was you saying hi to me with a cute smile. Sadly, she did not work at the company for long and left in August to go back to school. I started thinking of her again and wonder if there's any chance to find her again. Oh, the doggies are barking. Sexual harassment still come valid made you fresh in my mind. It was such an intensely tragic piece down the Today Show. I started to cry for the woman feature. I got physically ill. My visceral reaction wasn't to being sexually harassed in the workplace, but the idea that these women are faced with do this or I will destroy you. I've been trying to wrap my mind around being poisoned. Forget outright slander. Being a semi-public figure for over a decade prepared me for that. You're a semi-public figure and you're on Craigslist and missed connections. What are you doing with your life? What am I doing with my life? I'm the one reading these. Oh. God. Um, ooh, woman veteran, uh, Dunkin' Donuts. Let's read this, because it might be one of my friends. Thank you for paying for my donuts this morning. Nice surprise. Last two days have been horrible. A little act of kindness towards stranger. Really bright in my day. Thank you for your service in the military. Assuming the bin for sticker is yours. Oh, that's actually really sweet. Oh, Verizon Wireless Guy. Let's do this. Oh, yeah. Uh... I'm so sorry. I know you're gay. Let's start with that one. The clues were there. I guess it had to take me so long to figure it out. Your indifference in bed and your excuses. Oh no. You told me I really had to work to get you in the mood. When I do the things you say turn you on, you come up with more excuses. I have to work at it. You literally gush when certain women are just in the same room. Yes, I didn't notice your flirt body language that other evening. evening. I'm not hangry. I'm not hangry. <laughs> She wants a burger, some mac and cheese in bed. I'm not angry. I'm just confused, hurt, dejected. I wish you'd fucking admit it. Admit it so we can decide what to do. Oh, that's just sad. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Before you call a woman crazy and dramatic, stop and ask yourself, did you wake up one morning and decide to be crazy and dramatic for shits and giggles, or you've been acting like a fucking asshole for the last couple of days, and so she fucking snapped? You know... That was like me in my relationship. I like this person. If you're watching this, age 35, I'm so sorry. I, I, I'll buy you a beer. We'll hang out. We'll be friends. You're, 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 you're cool. Your name starts with a T. It was afternoon buying a new phone. I wouldn't badly ask you if I could give you a blowjob in the back room. <laughs> oh my god, lady. This lady has zero chill. Oh. Oh my god. That's. I have. Nope. Uh, Town Lake YMCA trainer in aquatic shorts. Workout partner. Hotel block. Oh, I've read workout partner before when I was looking for this segment. Let's not open that one. That one. That one I'd have to censor. That's. That's no good. I don't want any of that. Uh, Walmart blonde hottie. That sounds fun. Um, what else is going to be good? 24 hour hand, Hancock. I know. I know that sounds sexual, but that's just a street and that's for a fitness center. 
That's fucking hilarious. You were doing some squats wearing a gray t-shirt, black pants, me, black muscle shirt, green shorts, green, blah, fuck it. You have a nice body, let's work out. You know, for all the men, men for men, uh, gym posts, this is probably the least disgusting one. Town Lake YMCA trainer. Seen you around for a while, surprised to see you in the shower a couple of times. Wow. Uh, no. Just no. Made eye contact at a hotel bar. Let me know what you're wearing. What hotel? Uh, Walmart blonde hottie. Locking eyes. Killer smile. Yeah. Oops. Uh, is there even anything now? There's there, there's nothing interesting there. Okay. Uh, all right. Stalking you at HEB. I think that's the way. Be our last one. Ran into you several times today shopping at HB. I remember your name. Remember the name. You checked out before we could exchange info. If you're interested, tell me something specific. All right, guys. Well, I think this was kind of a nice way to get back into uh, the channel, let you guys know what's going on with my life. If you have, um, you know, any specific questions, I feel like I could share my life with you all. You can ask below if you want, and uh, you know. Just thank you so much for watching my channel and thank you guys for being here and just doing the show really helps me a lot. I'm going to get back into doing Let's Plays soon. I might start play posting some old ones from my older place in the older area. So if you see me, you know I'm not going back there, but they're just recorded, older recordings. I'm probably going to do my hair dark purple. And you know, if you guys ever think there's a hair color you want to see me in. Please let me know below because I love to do any sort of crazy color. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.